Is time up for the popular social app TikTok? A string of controversies concerning data mining and privacy leaks have made headlines in the last few years. TikTok has been banned in India and many Islamic nations since its inception. In the United States, staffers for the Democratic and Republican national conventions were warned against using it. And the UK government quickly deleted its TikTok account in July 2021 because of its links to China and fears of possible hacking by the CCP. A year before, the CEO of Reddit branded the app fundamentally parasitic and spyware. Tech researchers have proven TikTok can do all sorts of covert tracking across all your apps and networks. It has also been criticized for its lack of safety measures and unwillingness to suspend user accounts deemed to be engaging in predatory behavior. This is particularly concerning given the app's targeting of a younger age group. So is TikTok's time up? That's up to the government to decide. Recently there has been discussions about the inability to ban TikTok due to the number of users. But at what cost? And who gets to pay that bill? There are two simple ways to reduce the risk for people who insist on using TikTok. Simply use a fake name and email address. Or, since TikTok can be used without signing in, don't sign into the app at all. Combined with a VPN you will be doing all you can, short of not using TikTok. While this won't stop the app from collecting data, it would be extremely difficult to be traced back to an individual user. Now the big question, is using TikTok any more or less risky than any other social networking platform? Well, nearly all cybersecurity experts, including our CEO, believe it is a serious security risk and should be avoided. We hope you found value in this video. Be sure to follow Innovative Technologies for more tech tips by subscribing to our YouTube channel or visit us at upstatetechsupport.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.